Welcome to a new version of Curriculum Mapper. The reason we need to change to this newer version is that it works much better with the browsers that we're currently using. Some of the issues that you have had in uploading documents to the document library will be solved if you switch to this new version. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, when you are signed into Mapper, you'll come to the home page and you'll then go to My Account and Edit Preferences. We have some different choices now than we had before. We have been using the Enhanced Edit, but if you'll select Curriculum Mapper 2010 and click the Update, then you will update to the new version. Now this is what it will look like when you come into the new version, quite different than the old version. So when you first log in and see the home page, you'll notice the navigation bar is no longer along the left side, but it's across the top. A few things have changed here as well. If I go into Maps and My Maps, this looks fairly similar to what we've had before. So you can choose a month that you are going to edit. When I open that, so it looks uh, fairly similar to the way it did before. However, before when you clicked on the map, it would put you in the edit mode. Now you need to go up here to hit the edit mode and it gives you all of the toolbars to work with like we had before. To close out of the edit mode, there is an X right here to close. One of the new things that you can do with this version is to add a new block. Now what this does, let me scoot that over just a little bit, adding a new block gives you another section within the same month. So in this case I'm still in May 2012, but if I wanted to add another section, let's say you wanted to do each unit separately, you can do them uh, separately this way by adding the new block. I'm going to actually uh, cancel out of that without putting anything in it. Next I want to go to the resources because uh, what used to be called the document library is now called the content library. So if you want to go there and wait for it to load, if you have things currently uploaded, you'll need to open your section and all of the things that have been uploaded before this version will go to the old document library. So if I click on it and say content list, then it will show me all of the documents that I have uploaded previously. If I want to upload content, I pretty much do the same thing. I can upload content here and it's going to ask you to select it. You can't really see this box, but there is a box there so you can browse to upload a document. And then I'll just say, click Save Content over here and that will upload it. I don't think there's anything else that you would really um, need to know how to do. You can go into the standards here if you'd like to do that. Um, but everything else is going to be pretty much the same. It's just a new look and I have to say that I really have enjoyed this new look. So contact me with any questions you have about using the new version of Curriculum Mapper. Remember this is your choice. You do not have to change to the new version, but that option is there for you.